This is a different kind of tour. Think about it as a helicopter tour. We'll view Darien from the air and the ground. We'll take a look at the train stations and the beaches. We'll talk about prices in each neighborhood. We'll explore the schools, shopping, and the breathtaking waterfront. I'll even throw in a few Easter eggs along the way. You aren't going to want to miss a second. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Charlie Vinci, and I'm a local realtor that helps people move here. If you're thinking about buying a home in the area, you may want to subscribe to this channel. We are constantly creating new content for you. In order to follow along with the video, it will be helpful to have our Darien neighborhood map. To get the map, first go to the link on the screen, then scroll down and click on Search Darien by Neighborhood. You'll find our accompanying neighborhood map there. Right click on your Mac or PC, or tap the image on your phone to save it. Are you ready? Let's go for a little tour. If you were commuting home from Manhattan, there's a good chance you get off here at the Darien train station. The fast train will get you home in about 55 minutes from Grand Central. Before going home, you might want to grab a bite to eat at one of the many top rated restaurants in the area. You might choose Little Thai Kitchen, Louis Italian, the Goose Bistro, or 1020 Post for seafood. Either way, you really can't lose. This is an excellent walkable area. You'll find just about everything you need here. There are banks, coffee shops, a pharmacy, a butcher shop, a post office, and Darien Sport Shop, a town favorite. Just around the corner from Darien Sport Shop is Whole Foods. There's also a stop and shop as well as a Trader Joe's north of the railroad bridge on Route 1. If you wanna grab a coffee and meet a friend or take your dog for a walk, Tilly Park is a great place to relax and unwind. If you're looking for more of a hike rather than a stroll, you may wanna explore Selix and Dunlop Woods. You're gonna find a lake, a small beach, a butterfly garden, and more. This is the Darien Ice House. The rink is home to many local teams as well as synchronized skaters. They also host skating lessons for all skill levels throughout the year. Homes within a mile of the Darien train station typically sell for between about 550,000 to 2.5 million, with the best examples in the area selling for north of 3.5 million. If you wanna live within walking distance to the train, I have another option for you as well. I'm gonna to get to that one in a bit. You can go to the link on the screen and search for all homes for sale in Darien by the neighborhood. When you get to the site, scroll down and click on search Darien by neighborhood. Next, we're gonna go over to Contentment Island, which is in the neighborhood of Tokenique. It's connected to the land by a small bridge and offers some stunning waterfront real estate. Homes here don't sell very often, but when they do, you should expect to pay between three and $10 million. And some of the finest examples have the potential to sell for north of 10 million. The two islands just offshore are Crab Island and Fish Islands. Let's take a moment to appreciate the stunning coastline here. This is the private Tokenik Club. It prides itself for being a family-oriented club. As I'm sure you can imagine, the setting here is absolutely beautiful. Adjacent to the Tokenik Club is Butler's Island. It's much smaller than Contentment Island, but you'll find it to have a similar island-like feel along with similar pricing. When you're ready to come and explore in person, use the link on the screen to download our accompanying self-guided tour and be sure you don't miss a thing. This is the Tokenique Elementary School. 
you can use the link on the screen to go to our Darianne page and look up the current school ratings in our Darianne Buyer's Guide, as well as other information about moving to the area. Homes in Tokenique typically sell between 925,000 and 4.15 million, with the finest examples having the potential for, to sell for north of 5 million. If you're enjoying this video so far, do me a favor, go down below, hit that like button. Now let's leave the neighborhood of Tokenique and head over to the neighborhood of Long Neck Point. This is where Andrew Carnegie spent some of his summers. As you can see, it's a long peninsula flanked on each side by waterfront estates. This is a great location if you're looking for a home with a private beach or dock. It's also where you'll find one of the major beaches in town, Pear Tree Point Beach. Right next door is the Darien Boat Club. The marina can accommodate boats up to 28 feet in length. Homes in Long Neck Point typically sell between 3.15 million and 6.4 million with the finest examples having the potential to sell for north of seven million. This is Great Island. This 63 acre island is owned by one family and it can be yours. It includes a 13,000 square foot main residence with water views from nearly every angle. It has an equestrian center with a Grand Prix ring and riding trails. It also has a private beach and a yacht basin that is able to accommodate a 100 foot yacht. This is one of the finest examples of real estate on the East Coast. Although it's not currently listed, qualified buyers can call my office to submit financials and request a showing. Right next door is the smaller, yet no less stunning, Hay Island. Hay Island is more than 18 acres and is also owned by one lucky family. Next, let's head over to the neighborhood of Neroten, or more specifically, the southernmost part of the neighborhood, the peninsula, often referred to as Neroten Neck. These two islands are Nash and Pratt Islands. Either of these islands are an excellent location if you're looking for a waterfront home because of their expansive views of the Long Island Sound. That is, if you're lucky enough to have the opportunity to buy one. Only about one home sells here every five years. This is the Neroan Yacht Club. If you're a sailboat captain, this might just be your place. In the summer, the water's in the gut, as it's called, are filled with moored sailboats. You can hear the sounds of the sailboat rigging clanking and the smell of salt is most definitely in the air. This is Weed Beach. It's the primary public beach in town and could be considered more of a fitness park with its tennis courts, a fit trail that allows you to work out, and its junior sailing team. It's truly an original and exciting concept not to be missed. Adjacent to Weed Beach is Brush Island. Most of the homes here face Holly Pond, which is a large brackish body of water. Access from boats that are not docked inside Holly Pond is pretty limited making this a great place for owners of Holly Pond waterfront homes to enjoy water sports. Homes in the southern part of the Neroten neighborhood typically sell for between 1.95 million and 5.75 million, 
with the finest examples having the potential to sell for north of 10 million. Next, let's head over to the northern part of the Narotan neighborhood. This is Hindley Elementary School. If you're wondering what school a specific address goes to, you can go to our Darien Buyer's Guide and use the School Lookup feature. Nearby, you'll find the Darien Public Library. It was started in the late 1800s and is the only Connecticut public library to receive Library Journal's National Five Star Award. Located inside the Darien Town Hall is the Darien Arts Center. If any member of your family is interested in dance, music, visual arts, or theater, Darien Arts Center is the place for them to explore their passion. Nearby the Darien Arts Center, you'll find Baker Park. It has a small playground. It is a great place for kids in the neighborhood to blow off some steam. Homes in the northern part of the Narotan neighborhood typically sell for between 1.1 million and 1.75 million, with the finest examples having the potential to sell for more than 2 million. This is also an excellent location to walk to the Narotan Heights train station, which we're going to explore next. Let's head over to the Narotan Heights neighborhood, not to be confused with the Narotan neighborhood that we just explored. This is the Narotan Heights train station. The fast train will get you to Grand Central in about 60 minutes. The town has major plans to redevelop this area. As you can see, the redevelopment is already underway. Although COVID caused some financial challenges for the project, I have no doubt that this will one day be one of the best walking neighborhoods in Fairfield County. Every walking neighborhood needs a grocery store and Palmer's Market delivers. It's a longtime staple and town favorite. There are also several banks, gas stations, and a Walgreens already in place. The planned redevelopment will add more retail and residential space and may even include a renovation to the train station itself. This is truly an exciting time to be in the Narotan Heights neighborhood. If you get hungry while you're in the area, you might want to explore Bavala's Deli or Jake's Place. Both are highly rated. A few hundred feet down the road from the redevelopment, just behind the Narotan Heights Fire Department, is McWain Fields. The Darien Little League raised funds to build and renovate the fields. There are concessions, a picnic area, batting cages, and a playground. This is a real asset for the neighborhood. Another asset for the neighborhood is Woodland Park and Nature Preserve. You can take your dog for a walk or a run along the one and a half mile loop inside this 64 acre park. Next, we're gonna hop over to Middlesex Middle School. If living near the schools will make your life easier, go to the link on the screen and scroll to where it says, spend less time picking up kids. You can search near schools with this feature. Homes in the Narotan Heights neighborhood typically sell between 535,000 and 1.7 million, with the finest examples having the potential to sell for north of 3 million. When you're ready to come and explore in person, use the link on the screen to download our accompanying self-guided tour and be sure you don't miss a thing. Just over the town line in New Canaan is the Talmadge Hill train station. It's another option for Darien commuters. Trips from this station to Grand Central can be as short as about 70 minutes, but may require a transfer at the Stanford train station, which will add time to your commute. There are three country clubs in Northern Darien. This is the Woodway Country Club. It's a private course which requires a sponsor. Depending on the T, the course has a rating between 68.0 and 77.1, and a slope between 129 and 146. One of the things that makes Woodway unique is its access to the beautiful Woodway Beach Club, which is located off-site in Stanford. This is Ox Ridge Elementary School. 
Coming in September of 2021, you'll find a Darien School District map when you go to the link on the screen. This is the Country Club of Darien. Depending on the T, the course has a rating between 60.9 and 72.6 and has a slope between 121 and 134. It's an exclusive course and membership is available by invitation only. This is Darien High School. You can use the link on the screen to go to our Darien page. Again, go ahead and look up the school ratings in our Darien Buyer's Guide, as well as other information about moving here to the area. This is the Weeburn Country Club. It's a notoriously private club, and its course is said to be one of the toughest and most beautiful in the Northeast. Membership can also include the beautiful Weeburn Beach Club, which is located in Rowayton. This is Holmes Elementary School. If you're wondering what school a specific address goes to, you can go to our Darien Buyer's Guide and use the school lookup feature. This is Royal Elementary School. If you already know where you want to live, use our advanced search feature and click the map search button, you can navigate to all Darien homes for sale in your ideal location. Cherry Lawn Park is a great place to let the kids blow off some steam after school. It has a playground, community garden, baseball diamond, and tennis courts. It's also home to the Darien Nature Center, a community funded project dedicated to teaching children about our natural world. Homes in Northern Darien typically sell between 805,000 and 2.85 million, with the finest examples having the potential to sell for north of 4 million. If you're still exploring the area, check out my website where you'll find my raved about local buyer's guides and all of the homes listed for sale in Darien. I hope you enjoyed this tour as much as I enjoyed making it for you. When you are ready to start shopping, call me. I'll help you find a great home.